Just a quick note about the the uh, Toptis foregas detector. Uh, this is the Guard Dash 156. This one meter um, combustible gases. I don't know um, what this is calibrated to because different gases will have different lower explosive and upper explosive limits. Uh, it'll do the oxygen level. In the bottom right would be the carbon monoxide level. This was preset to alarm at 50 parts per million and then the hydrogen sulfide. Uh, the average consumer wouldn't use something like this. And if you're into confined space monitoring, uh, this probably would work for them. Firefighters who also enter into uh, immediately dangerous of life type settings, uh, this meter could be used for that. The problem is that there's um, no way to calibrate this. I don't know if you can send it to the company for calibration, but you know what you see is what you get. So I'm going to run this by some propane here, and then uh, top left hand side, now you can see that it's indicating the uh, explosive level. So it hit 100%, but again we're in an outdoor environment, just turned on our propane tank lightly to um, demonstrate this. I've turned the source and you can see that the level is going down. So I had set this one to go off at 10%, but from the factory it came to at 20. So as soon as it goes below 10, you'll see that uh, the alarm should stop. All right, for a little demonstration on the carbon monoxide, I started a generator in an enclosure. Uh, you never want to start a generator and use one in a uh, area where people will be uh, occupying. This has two levels of alarms, low level, and as it increases, the uh, alarm will go quicker. Um, I had to reset this one to 30, but depending on NIOSH and OSHA, whichever one you go by, the um, it'll alarm you there at like 30, 35 to 50 parts per million. Um, those are generally acceptable levels, um, but you do your own research. Um, so I'm just gonna reach into the enclosure a little bit more. I checked before I had over 600 parts per million. So uh, this is how dangerous a generator can be. Um, you never wanna run one inside. Um, and this is also why the newer generators are built with um, carbon monoxide detectors and they'll shut the generators down. So I'll bring this outside the enclosure. You can see where the fresh air will bring the uh, reading down to zero. And uh, hitting the power button just one time will give you choices um, where you can either make some adjustments. There's also CalGas on here, but there's a code in order for you to, to access that alarm set and stuff like that. The directions say that one of the codes is number 69. Um, it won't tell you what the other codes are, but either way, I don't have a uh, calibration gas to, to calibrate this with. So. Um, I was able to get this and give it a shot, take a look at it, experiment with it, but um, the average consumer, like I said, generally would not have use for something like this.